Well, good morning, guys. I woke up right here. Needless to say, it's a great way to start the day. And I got breakfast made for me. I got a beautiful view of Vancouver. We are currently in Canada right now. This is the view from the apartment. We're gonna go hit some thrift stores. I might hit some in Canada. I'm gonna go all the way back down to Tacoma, Washington and try to hit some thrift stores along the way. So let's see what we can find, baby. While taking Red on a walk, we found a thrift store. You already know we gotta hit the Salvation Army and see what's inside, baby. Ooh, first find is a little hundreds tea. I'm gonna pass on this, but nonetheless, kind of cool to see. This hot dog place is straight busting nuts all over the competition. Ski, ski. As you guys can see, world famous hot dogs in Wytheville, Virginia. I have no idea. Never heard of that place in my life, but great name for a hot dog. Get, get in there. That's what she said. <laughs> no, your boy is almost out of gas and I'm in Canada. Please pray for your boy. Smash that like button down below. Hopefully I can make it to a fuel station. Get gassed up shorty and make it to some thrifts to find some heat. I'm just kidding. I actually am already at a gas station, but you know, still smash the like button down below. In all seriousness, the love that you guys show for these videos really does mean a lot. If these videos continue to get likes, I will continue to make them. I keep telling you guys. So if you guys want me to film another trip to the thrift, of course, hit that like button down below. If this video gets 1,000 likes, the second it does, I will start filming the next trip to the thrift. It is a lot harder to film while thrifting. I'm still gonna thrift regardless. Wait, $81? There is no way it's $81. Am I smoking crack right now? Did I just spend $81 on gas? I really should have waited to get to America, please. Now, definitely like this video because I think I just spent $81 on gas and that's way too... What is that? Canadians, are you used to this? There's a value village like a mile down the road. Hopefully, I will get blessed with some heat from these Canadians since I just paid freaking almost $100 in gas. Like I said, please hit that like button down below. Show some love in the comments. Hopefully, you guys like the video and hopefully, I find some heat for Thrift Row. Let's get to the next thrift store, baby. Ooh, your boy likes simple messaging. Las Drogas! The GPS is telling me to turn right. However, there's a value village to the left. And you already know where we're going. We're going to the value village. This lady right here got mad at me because I honked my horn. I think this is supposed to be a thrift store, but $34.99 for this Columbia. And there's actual damage to it. They are definitely smoking dick. Gucci in the thrifts with the little uh, green and red stripe around the neck region. Look at this little uh, hole right here. Someone was clearly hip thrusting somebody, but yeah, man, this thing going crazy. Just busting on them, all gold, uh, everything. Are you guys gonna get it? Dude. I think he will. He, he likes bootleg. Who uh, cares, you know? Like his whole Rocket. Fake, it's just fake right now. His whole fit, everything? Yeah, <laughs> Everything's Fugazi? <laughs> the Armani Collection with the old English embroidery. And you already know what it says, boy. Fashion. These prices are absurd. Whoa, this is basically vintage at this point. The Last Kings V Rare. Oh my gosh, Shorty gave that neck. What is going on right here? It looks like it was supposed to be a V neck, but then they made it into like some kind of mock neck. I have no idea. This is like a V neck hybrid. Safety first, boy. Safety first. All right, guys, the prices in here are insane. I don't know what's going on, but Canada is way too expensive. We got to get back to America where the thrift stores are actual thrift stores and super cheap. And back in America where the value villages are usually a good value. This is low key like one of those BBC value villages. Damn, low key, the fact that it was sleeveless already was not enough, so they had to turn it into a V neck. I do love the graphic though, these two majestic eagles just flying around the POW. And on top of that, they're engulfed in flames. All right, we got the DBZ with Piccolo on the back going crazy. Everyone absolutely stunned at my man's powerful abilities. This is actually the prince from 2001. The T-shirt was produced in the year 2000, early 2000s, Y2K DBZ piece right here. Then we have this Ouija board. This is actually not vintage at all. I just really thought this was a dope graphic. And this is super random, but I used to actually own this jacket. Actually, still to this day, one of the most comfortable jackets I ever owned in my entire life. That being said, $22, but I'm definitely gonna take this. So uh, thank you, Value Village, and on to the Goodwill. Now, hopefully this terrible signage and the fact that it does not really look even open and the GPS takes me to the other side of the parking lot will equate to less people, less traffic, and less competition in the thrift store because your boy needs to find some more heat. Right now, all I got is a DBZT, and I have hit like three different thrift stores already, and uh, yeah, it's not looking too good today. It's trips like this where it's really hard to maintain that motivation because I've been at four stores. I have found one T. It might be getting brighter because I'm about to go into Joanne's real quick. Anyways, what I was going to say before Joanne's Fabrics freaking angelic lighting overtook my camera is I haven't found anything yet, but I'm going to try to stay hopeful. It's really hard to have motivation. Uh, I will say this Goodwill is looking promising. Look at the lighting, just like kind of like low key matching the inside of my vehicle, matching the Starship. Hopefully, this Goodwill will come through. It looks just oh so welcoming. This is in Mount Vernon, so uh, hopefully we can 
can find a little something. Some, honestly, it's getting really hard to record because it's the fourth store and I have a single t-shirt. Actually, I think this is the fifth store. Oh my goodness, well. All right, guys, couldn't find anything at these thrift stores, but your boy just flew to LA, so hopefully I can find some vintage heat out here. I also met this homie right here, a little gamer, you know what I'm saying? My man's a beast at Fortnite, you know? Oh shit, you can't dab me up. There we go, you know, yeah, yeah. I want this tea so bad. All right, yo, so I'm copping this right here. I'm spending way too much money right now, but it is what it is, like, I just need this in the collection. The homie Sean was telling me a little story about this. Met up with these dudes in Munich. They got this one in like a bunch of other Akira shirts. I guess it was like, it was either an old Akira collector or just someone who like maybe didn't quite know like where the market's at now and I guess they had him on like a German version of like maybe offer up or something. The one dude said that he was gonna get him from the dude. I guess the dude was taking a while getting back to him. Uh -huh. But then he hit him back a couple days later and the guy was like, oh, they're gone. But it was his homie who got him. Oh, for real, like, that's he crazy. Like, he was like, man, I'm happy they stayed in the circle. When I was negotiating with this friend on him, he was like, you could tell he was like, felt some kind of way because he was just like, God, I can't believe. Well, and finding it for like 20, like you said. I think they were cheap, dude. He, like, he, he's, he bought them for like, 25. But like, like whatever like euros or maybe it was something cheap like that you like something I mean? ridiculous yeah, so it's yeah. like for me like when I found when I found this tea yeah, yeah. like the fact that I found it and paid so little for it that makes me You're not want to yeah, yeah. I had a bunch of offers on it like right okay, away that's like Anytime we get one, like I'm looking right now, they always, I don't think one's like ever lasted more than a day. Legit. Yeah. And like, I got a bunch of offers. This is on a soft tee too, so it's like so that's gas. The, that's the tea. I can't ever sell it to me. Yeah. Like, no, I, th you know. I think the dude who got this was like super stoked. And I'll be honest, he did not want to sell it. <laughs> yeah, because you just got it now, and now it's like, now it's mine. Like, when I was in middle school, I legit used to beat my meat to her on Google Images. I didn't have like, there wasn't great porn and I had dial up, so it was really hard. Damn, that is fire. Low key, this is way too big, which saddens me like the only way this could get better if it was like Pamela Anderson and Carmen Electra right here the two shorties I always dreamed of in middle school oh my goodness I just wish this wasn't so big this shirt is low-key bigger than her titties like what the f as you guys know I'm going to Supreme tomorrow low-key this is a way better Tupac tee anyways you got some fire Nirvana tees of course none compared to what I'm wearing this is pretty gas though some other really sick Akira tees especially these two right here gorgeous Ooh, this is what Supreme should have done not that hologram shit this is beautiful Beautiful. Damn, another one. I almost bought this the other day, but I did not because the price was too high on Grailed. Definitely some bangers in here. There was a super sick Marilyn Manson tee that I don't think I'm going to get because I'm looking for a particular Marilyn Manson tee for my personal. Where that? Ooh, this one right here. Look at that. looks gorgeous. But then also, there's this Metallica tee over here. This is so sick. I love this tee. I actually have a t-shirt that uses this graphic. It's on a giant tag XL. I just love this graphic. That being said, I don't know because I might already be spending way too much money. This right here is so sick as well. Oh my god. Low key, I want all these tees. I think some of them are going to be too big. Like, I think this one will be too big on a Delta No Limit Records. See murder. Oh my god, this is sick. Silk the Shocker, Mystical. Dude, this is fucking hard. Low key, this Grateful Dead tea is super gas. Not even really low key. I don't know why I said low key. Sometimes I'll just be saying shit for no reason. Oh, Look, that's hard. It's street. Oh, film. that's so filthy. What size is it? Oh, it's a medium. Yeah, it looks a bigger than a medium. Yeah, yeah that's but dude, gas. This was. The German writing is just like, that's so fuck? sick. They're pretty sick. It's on. It's got like the hit down here and stuff. Oh yeah. It's on the Sailor Moon tag, and then it's got the back. Oh yeah. And each one's, you know, which are pretty fucking sick actually. All right, guys, it's official. I just spent way too much money on this shirt. Now I'm probably gonna spend too much money on some glasses, but nonetheless, uh, they got some good deals here, and so, you know what I'm saying, he's hooking me up. Uh, these are gonna be the nicest glasses I've ever purchased in my life. Right now, you boys got the Gucci frames on. I'm a firm believer, like, I'm blind, and I really don't care for, like, glasses too much, so I, I gotta make sure my glasses are A1 all the time. I'm not gonna lie, I feel kinda sick. I don't like spending money. You guys know me, I really don't like spending money. It's weird to put this in a trip to the trip. All right, man, I'm ending the night. Have a dinner with my sure. brother from one of the sickest brands yeah, out sure. right now, just so you guys don't hey, know. If you guys don't know, nothing, yeah? hey, now, Look say now. Com, you feel me? Get there. Love is war. Clutch busters. Nigga. I'm telling you. Face the campaign on the way. I ain't ready for it. If you guys are not getting on this right now, you guys are going to be late to it. I promise you. I'm telling y'all. If you guys know, if you guys follow Streetwear, you guys already know. Hey. Wicked Thoughts, one of the most fire brands out right now. Shout out to the man, the myth, the legend himself. And back in Washington, back in the trenches, the place to be, baby. This is my man over here got the Chanel scarf, looking oh so fancy. He was just wearing it as a cape. He was like a designer superhero. He's also gonna sell me this hat for 50 bucks. What a bargain, another Chanel scarf. Damn, he is flexing on us right now. That's ridiculous. Twinkie, of course, in the building. 
Who the generous? Oh, weird. You're recording? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's Man. crazy. Yeah, you like my vest, no big deal. Damn, they wrote a novel about my lady. We are made from stars and to the stars we must return. This is crazy, son. Like the art for whoever did that, Ooh. must be from the tide. I wish I could read. <laughs> What is up YouTube? We are back in my humble abode and today I'm going to show you guys some of the pieces that I have acquired recently. Now some of the grails that I'll be showing off were purchased off of other vintage dealers and some of it may be for sale down the line in the future. There are a couple pieces that I got from my personal collection which I will talk about. If you want a chance to purchase any of the items I show off in these videos make sure you follow Thrift Row. Anything that I do end up selling will be posted on there so make sure you follow that. That's T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. That'd be somewhere on the screen and down in the description below. That is my personal resale page where I resell a lot of the vintage gear that I find and not really just vintage but just anything that I find in a thrift store that I think is dope or cool or unique whatever I don't want that page to be limited to just like single stitch or like just like oh it's from the 90s or the 80s like anything I find that's dope I want to put on there and on top of that I started a website so you guys can actually go check out the website most of the stuff is sold out now however there are still a couple items up that you can check out and I will be posting there frequently so make sure you check that out and if you don't see an item you can always DM me whatever that being said uh, I had a major Major dry spell. The thrift stores would not allow me to find that orgasmic heat. I had a major dry spell for quite some time. I hit so many thrift stores and I found absolutely nothing, but that's just kind of the name of the game. I know sometimes you watch these videos on YouTube and you think that like all these people you watch just go into the thrift store and they find heat every time when in reality that's just the stuff that they're recording because when you're not finding shit, you're usually not hyped. You usually don't have the same energy and it's usually just kind of boring to put into a video. And I want you guys to understand that like I don't go to a thrift store and I'm just like, oh, there's heat here every time. Like I go to a lot of thrift stores before I find heat. And honestly, it's a lot more common for me to go into a thrift store and find absolutely nothing than me finding something. But I ended up flying to LA and when I landed in LA, I walked in around two and I literally saw a piece on the wall that I've been trying to acquire for quite some time. And it is this beautiful, Acurity. Now, I already know the comments are gonna be like, what, you spent 1200? That's not worth 1200? Like, it's hard to really assign worth to something like this. If you look on Grail, I think there's only one listed, and it is listed for $2,000. I don't think it'll sell at $2,000, but if you try to offer anything lower than 1200, he will not accept it. Trust me, I tried. And then there is one other person that I know of that has these, and he has three of them. One is extremely faded, and he is starting his bids at 1200 or 1300 is what he said. I offered him 950 and he did not take my offer at all. <laughs> so it goes to show you that in the vintage community, this piece is definitely sought after. This one is in pristine condition. It is not single stitch, it is double stitch. At first, that kind of concerned me. I didn't know too much about the tag or the actual stitch itself. However, after talking to my friend Twinkie, who you guys may have seen in the videos, he's the thrift historian. He literally knows everything about vintage. That man is like a fucking bank of knowledge. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? No! Knowledge. These tags right here are used on a lot of European tours and I guess Europe had double stitching in the 80s And I also hit up the other individual single stitch vintage that I know that has these and he said that he has seen this exact tag and Stitching so he like verified or legit checked it for me. That was something I was kind of worried about But yeah, definitely an amazing piece you have Tetsuo right here looking oh so freaking muscular kind of also decrepit But if you guys are not familiar with what anime this is and you guys cannot read it is from Akira now Akira is probably one of the most popular animes of all time. It's not personally my favorite, if I'm being honest. I am a fan of anime. My favorite anime would be Tenshi Muyo. Really, Akira is not even in my top five, but it's definitely a good anime to watch. And if you ever want to get into anime, I think it is a pretty decent one. I wouldn't say... I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily start with Akira. There's other animes I would recommend first. But it's definitely one that if you have not watched, I would recommend watching. And if you guys recall, I actually have talked about Akira on this channel before when Supreme collaborated with them. And I did keep one of those pieces for my personal collection. I will be raffling some of those off on Robotus and Poppy. If you guys don't follow Robotus and Poppy and you guys don't know what that is, that is where I basically sell a lot of my hype gear. So Supreme, Palace, FTP. Basically, if it's new, it goes on Robotus and Poppy. If it's old, it goes on Thrift Row. But that being said, Nothing that Supreme did compared to this piece right here. The colors are crazy. This all over print is freaking insane. Yes, I paid way too much money, but honestly, I kind of justified it because I figured since I found this for $4 and this is easily like a $1,500 t-shirt, I might as well just drop the bag on this. And then I have both of my grails in the collection. There's really only a couple all over print grails that I need to add to my collection. But yeah, this piece is just so freaking gorgeous and I'm glad that I have it. And honestly, I don't regret the purchase 
at all. Now, moving to a couple other pieces, I do have some bangers. As you guys can see, we have this Air Jordan piece right here. I don't know how this fits yet, but it says Air Jordan. I bought this in Vancouver off of a vintage dealer. I believe it was got it for cheap. Uh, Hair Jordan right here on the back. Low key, um, I paid a little bit more than what I would want for it, especially since it does have tears right here, but this is a personal piece and I don't really care that much. It's a sick vintage Nike piece. I love the fact that they have Bugs Bunny with the Jumpman logo and you have, that's just so sick, bro. They really need to do a shoe with that as the Jumpman instead of my man, Michael Jordan, but definitely a dope piece nonetheless. Then we have, uh, <laughs> this is absolutely hilarious. This says Chubbies. This is not really vintage, I don't think. I definitely think it's newer. But it says the original Chubbies footlongs. Why have a weenie when you could have a chubby home of the two-hander? Absolutely absurd. I love this color. I like the red on this creme de la creme. Then we got this piece right here. I got this for 10 buckarooskies off of another vintage dealer in Vancouver. So you have this rooster right here just dome shotting this other rooster. Maybe this is a chicken. This is a rooster. I don't know. But regardless, as you can see, he has a six shot revolver. He was not playing Russian roulette. All six bullets were loaded and he capped my man in the dome right there. And it looks like the rooster was trying to wake him up at 6 a.m., which I think he is definitely justified in murdering him if he was trying to do that. Now I got some other pieces. I got these Dickies. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these or not honestly I just love this wash so much I believe these were 34s or 36s I don't think they fit me um, they're definitely gonna be a little bit big but nonetheless super dope wash a uh, nice dicky pant of course if I do end up selling these of course they will go on thrift row I haven't quite decided yet if they fit me right and I I don't know, depending on the fit of them is gonna determine whether or not I sell them. I just thought these were some nice Dickies pant. And if you guys don't know, uh, I am a fan of workwear. I like Dickies, I like Carhartt. I do like uh, Ben Davis as well, but I grew up wearing Dickies for sure. Now, moving on, we have a boys North Face. Um, I would say this is like a small, but I think it's a boys medium or a boys large. Yeah, it's a boys large, so it's probably gonna be like a men's small, but it's just a nice little Denali jacket. Always nice to find. You got the black and yellow, black and yellow, right there on the chesticle, on the titty. This right here was the only one that I found, bro, this is the only t-shirt I found from an entire day of thrifting. You have this 2000 Dragon Ball Z shirt right here. It's definitely a sick piece, and I'm not mad at it at all. It's definitely clean. You got the little uh, hit right here in between your titties, and then you got that back hit right there, but it's just like, man, literally the only piece I found from an entire day of thrifting that was definitely disappointing here we have a women's north face this one i'll probably give to my mom and my niece my niece will either wear it and she can have it or my mom will sell it a lot of the women's north faces that i find in the thrifts i usually will just buy and then give to her so she can sell it uh right here we have a pendleton this is a really nice pendleton it's always nice to find these in the thrifts this is a wool pendleton it's made of virgin wool which means the wool never had sex you know it's not giving birth. You have a little Pendleton thing right here on the uh, right back shoulder blade. Definitely a good color and I always tell you guys this, it is always nice to find Pendleton in the thrifts. It's really hard to find a lot of these Pendletons that don't have cigarette holes or moth holes or anything like that. So anytime you find a Pendleton, especially one that has like a really nice color to it, quality material, I cannot recommend enough. If you see these in the thrifts and they do not have any moth holes or cigarette burns, do not pass them up. But last but not least, we have, what is this? Oh, okay, I bought this off of another homie at the bins. I think I paid $10 for it. This is just a Tacoma, Washington, Harley Davidson tee. As you can see, it has a little Tacoma right there. You got the old school right here. This isn't anything too crazy for Harley tees. I got it for $10. I'm not mad at that, honestly. A lot of these tees, depending on the graphic, I think they're worth anywhere between like 20 and 40 bucks. And I love vintage Harley tees. It's probably one of my favorite vintage tees to find right now. They're just so sick. And anytime I see one that of course is repping the city that I am from, I'm loving it like McDonald's. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. Make sure you check out Thrift Row. That'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description down below. And while you're on Instagram, since you're already being harmed by those EMFs or whatever the those things are that people complain about these days, then make sure you take the time to follow me on my personal Instagram so that way when you do get brain damage, it'll at least be a little bit worth it so you can see my fire Instagram pictures. Make sure you follow me on there, the Starlight T H E S T A R I L I F E. This means more on the screen and down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. And as always, keep living Starlight. Peace the fuck out. Bang, bitch, holler when you feel this. Fresh about the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers.